In this simulation, we have a pH electrode and calibration solutions, a graduated cylinder, several beakers to prepare solutions in, a balance, disposable pipettes, weighing boats, and several samples to work with. To begin part A, you'll create a series of five buffer solutions. The contents of these solutions are available in your lab manual. Start by rinsing the pH meter by clicking on the bottle of deionized water. Then click the yellow calibration solution to move it to the pH meter and calibrate to pH 7 by clicking the middle button on the meter. Click the beaker of the solution you're making to retrieve it from the shelf. If you need to add one of the solid samples to the beaker, add a weigh boat to the balance and tear the mass of the weigh boat. Then you can click on the sample you need to retrieve it. To add any of the stock solutions on the shelf to your beaker, simply click on them and use your up arrow to fill a graduated cylinder to the desired amount. Once you've added all of the required components, rinse off the pH electrode using the deionized water bottle and then click your beaker to place it near the pH meter. The pH of each of these solutions should be recorded. Once you've created your buffer solutions, you are ready to stress test them by adding strong acid or base to them to see how the pH changes. To do this, select a 100 milliliter beaker from your set and then add the required buffer by clicking on it. Once you add the buffer solution, click the disposable pipettes box to dispense one milliliter of the required strong acid or strong base. Now you can rinse the pH electrode with deionized water before moving your beaker to the pH meter to take another reading. Repeat these steps for each of the six required pH tests. Finally, in part B, you'll make up a buffer solution to a desired pH. To do this, you'll start by calibrating the pH electrode as you did in part A. Then select a weigh boat from the shelf to measure the desired amount of sodium acetate trihydrate. This amount will come from your own calculations. Next, fill your beaker with 100 milliliters each of acetic acid and deionized water. Rinse the pH electrode again by clicking the deionized water bottle and then measure the pH of your solution by clicking on it and moving it to the pH meter. <laughs>